Microplastics and microbes are effectively eliminated by swarms of miniature robots, all while working in unison. Greetings, everyone. Today, we will be delving into the subject of the challenges posed by the breakdown of old food packaging, discarded children's toys, and other improperly managed plastic waste into microplastics. These minuscule plastic particles present a significant obstacle when it comes to their removal from our oceans and waterways. Moreover, they have a tendency to attract bacteria, including those that can lead to various diseases. However, in a recent study published in ACS Nano, scientists have unveiled an innovative solution in the form of swarms of micro-robots. These remarkable micro-robots have the ability to capture both microplastics and bacteria from water, subsequently undergoing decontamination and reuse. Without any further delay, let us proceed with our engaging discussion. The issue of plastic pollution is further complicated by the presence of microplastics, which are smaller than five millimeters in size. These tiny particles pose a threat to animals as they can be consumed, potentially causing harm and entering the human food chain. While the full impact on human health is not yet fully understood, it is not just the microplastics themselves that are concerning. These particles have the ability to attract bacteria, including harmful pathogens, which can also be ingested. To tackle this dual problem of removing both microbes and plastic from water, Martin Pumera and his team have developed microscale robotic systems. These systems consist of numerous small components that work together, resembling natural swarms, such as schools of fish. In order to fabricate the robotic entities, the team utilized magnetic microparticles that were connected to strands of a polymer with a positive charge. These microparticles only exhibit movement when subjected to a magnetic field. The polymer strands extend outward from the surface of the particles and possess the ability to attract both plastic materials and microorganisms. The final products, which take the form of individual robots, have a diameter of 2.8 micrometers. When exposed to a magnetic field that rotates, the robots gather together in a swarm. Through manipulating the quantity of robots that autonomously organize into flat clusters, the researchers discovered that they could modify the movement and velocity of the swarm. By conducting laboratory experiments, the team successfully replicated the presence of microplastics and bacteria in the environment. They achieved this by introducing fluorescent polystyrene beads, measuring one micrometer in width, and actively swimming Pseudomonas aeruginosa bacteria, known for causing various infections, including pneumonia, into a water tank. Subsequently, micro-robots were introduced into the tank and subjected to a rotating magnetic field for a duration of 30 minutes. The magnetic field was alternated on and off every 10 seconds. Among the four concentrations tested, the highest concentration of micro-robots at 7.5 milligrams per milliliter effectively captured approximately 80% of the bacteria. Simultaneously, the number of free plastic beads gradually decreased as they were attracted to the micro-robots. The researchers then employed a permanent magnet to collect the robots and utilized ultrasound to detach the bacteria clinging to their surface. To complete the disinfection process, the removed microbes were exposed to ultraviolet radiation. Remarkably, the decontaminated robots were capable of picking up smaller amounts of both plastic and microbes when reused. The researchers emphasize that this micro-robotic system presents a promising solution for eliminating plastic and bacteria from water sources. The authors express their gratitude for the financial support received from the TechScale project, funded by the European Regional Development Fund, European Social Fund, as well as the Refresh program of the European Union and Czech Nano Lab. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.